Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of a game called Moonrunner. Now I was searching on the Steam page for or the Steam Summer Sale and I came across this game and it was actually free and uh, has been around for a little bit but uh, it was the first time that I see it and from what I gather it is you're an astronaut and you're running on the moon so I thought that this would be pretty fun to do just a little side project that I was working on while I was checking out all the sales that we can get. I'm pretty excited. We're going to be bringing some new things to the, the channel pretty soon and in the future as well. But let's go ahead and start this. I have not played any event. All I did was come in here and check my settings. I'm going to be playing on all the highest video. Let's turn our sound effects down just a little bit. Okay, and from what I see, we can play with uh, um, controller. So we're going to do that. Let's go ahead and get started. Small moons controlled by astral cortex industries produce rare energy used for interstellar travel. The monoliths installed across the surface are designed to harvest this energy. When the monoliths malfunction, all standard maintenance protocols have failed. Special units known as the moon runners are dispatched to the surface to reestablish functionality. All right. Yeah, I didn't really look into this game. I haven't really watched anything. This is going to be a blind playthrough. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, there we are. Wow. This looks pretty good. Scraper unit 87C5. This lunar node requires urgent maintenance. You are tasked with finding all the monoliths and reactivating them Cortex energy device. Your suit's energy also synthesizes oxygen for your survival. However, its supply is limited. Once you reactivate the monolith, it will replenish your energy. Thank you for your service. All right, so we got primary assignments: reactivate monoliths. A button is jump. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, so it's a map. Okay, get out of there. Ooh, trolls are a little... Okay, all right, so let's jump. Nothing, not carrying any modules. Okay. Am I supposed to make it up there? Whoa. Oh, okay, so if you press and hold it, you jump higher. Caution. The core's massive energy output produces a high gravitational field around the lunar node. Your suit will use energy to absorb damage when you fall. The more modules you carry, the higher the damage. Be sure to manage your inventory and upgrade your carrying capacity to mitigate energy loss. Okay. Okay. Ooh, okay. All right, I'm getting it. So we need to, what, do this? Monolith reactivated. You are making progress already. Astral Cortex Industries thanks you for your service. <laughs> your energy supply will be refilled as long as you are next to a reactivated monolith. When you leave the monolith, Suit's energy supply will re engage. Use your scanner to highlight nearby stranded modules. Stranded modules can be used to your advantage or traded at monoliths using your inventory. Find another monolith, reactivate it, and await further instructions. Oh, wow, look at that planet. I didn't even notice the planet and the space station. Yeah, the sky was spinning rapidly. That was all. Unsettling. OK. 
Okay. Basic module, rifle module. Okay, so the more of these I have, the more damage I take. Is that correct? Oh, pick that up, pick that up. Oh, no, no, no. This. Oh, God. I was not prepared for enemies. <laughs> I died on the moon. So how far back do I start? Okay, so just from that last one, it seems like. Okay, I'll play that. Oh. oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I didn't pick it up. Ah. Astral Cortex Industries thanks you for your service. All right, robot. I'm done playing around. I see you. Oh, many have turned down the sensitivity of this. Okay, we're gonna try mouse and keyboard with this. I was not aware that there'd be fighting. I thought we were just running on the moon. But apparently, the moon's haunted. Where's my rifle? Had a rifle. Oh, I love this guy's run. This is great. Let's get some energy, because that's what we do here. Okay. Can I sell this stuff now? One thousand credits. Yeah, let's just fabricate a rifle, why not? And a ladder. Let's do a ladder as well. Alright, so two is the ladder. One is the rifle. Alright, robot. Where are ya? I see ya. Ha! Yes. Oh, <laughs> I just uh, I just found a ladder module. All right. Well, I couldn't find where our gun went before, so I feel like he took it. That's probably not how this works. So but that's okay. We learn as we go. Oh, you no, know, maybe our gun ran out. Maybe it just ran out and disappeared. Uh, does anyone play this? Have any of y'all ever... Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I need to stop talking. Oh, 
Okay. All of our stuff is back there. Okay, grab first things first. Gun. What's this? What's this? Do not open. Well, I definitely want to know what's in there now. Alright, that's the energy. So I think this is the way I need to go, but that robot's in her way. So let See, I thought I thought this was just like running on the moon simulator. It's a free game, so I assumed it was very limited. Oh, out of guns. I'm getting attacked. Oh, I was getting attacked. All right, we need more energy. Let's go back. It's kind of funky. So I'm not carrying any rifle modules anymore. I have quite a few ladders, so I'm gonna sell those and you know what I will get another rifle all right there we go that makes sense okay so I think what's that? I think I need to go that way all right pass this guy is there a first person motor no Probably not. Oh. Okay, I don't think I can just jump my way up that. Maybe this way? Oh, there we go. Skyrim school of jumping, jumping up things. All right. I feel like I'm going to get attacked here. Yeah, we should scan. That's pretty cool. Oh, here's a monolith. All right, so let's head down this way. And if I fall all the way down there, I'm probably gonna die. So, let's take this nice and easy. Oh, ladder module, okay, what is this? Okay. Oh, I am running out of energy. Oh, okay, I can rapidly scoot down, and I guess that's done. Let's. Uh, come on, you got this. You got this. You got this. You got this. There we go.
Okay, uh, I don't know where I'm going. Where am I going? So there's that, so I'm guessing this way. Oh, that's right, I have a map. That's something, I guess. Oh yeah, another one of these things. Anything I can do with this? No. Oh, good. Oh, okay. Whew. Oh, nice. That fills my energy. Excellent. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have a ladder. I can just climb up this way. Uh, so it doesn't show me where the monoliths are, only the ones that I finished, so let's go this way. Okay. Can I run up the ladder? No. Oh, here's another. Oh, crap. <sighs> okay, well. Astral Cortex Industries thanks you for your service. <laughs> okay, well, it's a good thing that we did that so close. Okay. Let's take this nice and easy. Skyrim School of Falling Down from Things. <sighs> yeah, there we go. Trick was, is you can't fall the entire distance, you just gotta fall small bits at a time. Alright. Alright, feel good about that. Ah, uh, that's how you hide the HUD. Okay. Looks great. Okay, so let's go find ourselves one more monolith. There's not too many hours of gameplay in this. Um, I, I mean, I guess obviously it depends on uh, <laughs> how many times you die. But uh, yeah, this isn't too long of a game from what I've read. Uh, valuable module interesting oh I can sell that right here so I don't know how many episodes of this I'm gonna do but I'm gonna have some fun playing this uh, it was free so don't really uh, have much to lose on that so, valuable oh 2,000 all right trade trade 
train. Let's fabricate an energy module. We might need that. And then another rifle. Uh, we've got 2,000 credits. I'm not scanning very much very often, but energy efficiency might be good. Yeah, yeah, that's. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. Okay. So, energy efficiency, I'm assuming it just uses, uh... It just doesn't go down as quickly, I'd imagine. Nope. I only have one ladder left, so I don't know that I want to use that just yet. Oh, but I might need to in order to get out of here. Uh, nope. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need to in order to get out of here, which means that I should probably just choose wisely. Okay, so there's a monolith in here. I think each of these little caverns has their own monolith. That's a big cavern. Okay. I think I'll do that. So that is what this way. Oh, what what the hell is that? Oh yeah. Moon's haunted. All right, I think it's this way. Oh, what the hell? Oh, it's zapping my energy. That was not cool, man. Oh, no, get off me. Get off me. Oh, I don't like the look of any of this. Oh god. Get away from me. Uh, who knew the moon was so dangerous? Uh, I like that it brings you back to the last place you scan, but I feel like I'm about to hit a death spiral with all the danger that was just at the top of that. Pick up the rifle first, pick up the rifle first. <sighs> Whew, okay. All right, not so squishy any anymore. Oh, yes we are, yes we are. Okay, made it. We don't have very much of a gun left. Oh, there's so many of them down there. What the hell? It was that sound. Everything's trying to kill you on the moon. I feel like this is something. It looks like it should be something. Maybe I'm just thinking of Planet Crafter. Ok, 
Okay, I don't have any ladders. Oh, energy module, that'll be nice. Oh, there's a monolith. And it looks like it's on the same level, as long as we don't fall down. Ooh, that's careful. Yes. That's fun. Okay. Let's trade off some of these. Another ladder. All right. We have two more ladders. Okay, so we are we've got two rifle. Let me just jump on this. Yeah. We've got two rifles. We've got two ladders. Um, we've got six more monoliths to do, but I think this is a good place to stop this. Um, I had some fun with this. It's uh, definitely more challenging than I was imagining. I thought it was just kind of a run from point A to point B uh, situation, but the fact that we have enemies definitely changes things a little bit. I will have to be uh, to think about this a little bit better. <laughs> But I'm excited to play uh, a little bit more of this. If you're interested in this, uh, let me know. It is a free game uh, on Steam. I'll put the link to the, the game page in the description below if you want to check it out. It doesn't seem to be too taxing, but I'm not, you know, I'm not entirely sure what this... Uh, the requirements didn't seem to be too much, so I think, uh, I think it'll work on a lot of machines. But uh, don't quote me on that, because I am not sure. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're looking forward for more Moonrunner. If you did, please consider giving me a like, drop me a comment, let me know your thoughts, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.